welcome to a tutorial on how to make your graphics card faster by overclocking. Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this site, which I will put a link in the description. Then once you get here, you download it. You'll have a folder in wherever you download stuff to. Mine is in here, and it will be MSI Afterburner. It will be compressed, but you can extract just because it's Windows 7 and it's a zip file and they have an extractor built in just for zip files. So once you extract it, it says MSI Afterburner. You set it up and you'll eventually get an icon. Let me get this out here. You eventually have an icon that looks like this right there. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run this, click yes then you're going to see this screen. It's going to have a lot of graphs and stuff all over here. That doesn't really matter. You're going to want to pay attention to your temperature. Above 80 degrees on a mobile um, graphics card, that's kind of getting up there. Mine's running very cool because I have a very expensive laptop. And a lot of times if you have a uh, dedicated one and you have all this other stuff you can uh, adjust these in any way you want but mine generally at the default is 775 so I'm going to want to do click on here and then use the arrow keys right and left to adjust it all the way up to where I want to so let's say I want to adjust it up to 850 um, and memory clock but before you do any of this you might want to adjust your fans I usually uh, it, when I had a dedicated graphics card I adjusted them to about 50 percent for just this moment and um, I'm always going to probably set it about 200 or 100 higher so I'm going to set it to 350 yeah that's good then what you're going to want to do is hit apply the thing is this um, really causes your graphics card it kind of decreases the life of it so I'm I'm just going to always have it applied so anytime you start up your system it's just going to apply it back I only do this because I have a super cooling system on the back of this and um, it really helps so yeah I apply it at startup and my graphics card gets a little bit better yeah, it's just a little bit faster for games. FPS increases like games on Grand Theft Auto 4, which it really doesn't need much, but like Battlefield 3, it get like a 4%. Four, I mean, you know, 4 FPS increase. So thank you guys for watching this, and remember you can adjust this in... You can type it in, but for some reason typing it in does not work for me. I just generally adjust with the keys, or you can drag it like that but I usually adjust with the keys and let it just go at startup. So thank you guys on for watching this on how to overclock a graphics card, which helps it make faster. So thank you for watching.